14th, 13th hole is a par four, 330 yard dog leg right with water to cover for the tee shot and all along the right hand side of the fairway up and covering the green. And Stan's hitting a three wood. All right, Corey's also going three wood. Going to aim it about halfway between the water and that hot bunker off to the left. Good line. Good ball. All right, Corey's got 91 to cover the water, 101 to the flag, going with a 54 degree. Nice shot, just a little left of the pin, just past it, nice ball. So this has to be the signature hole. It's got a waterfall feeding down into this pond that sets right in front of the green. It's absolutely beautiful. Got a rock wall up against the back of the green, stunning. Stan's got 52 to the flag, 41 to cover. Little long, not bad, safe play. All right, Stan's got about 25 feet. Right to left breaker. Oh, oh it's flattened up. out. Ah. Pretty good putt, easy par. All right, Corey's got about 12 feet, similar line to me. Good roll, oh, it didn't break. All right, I've got 152 yard par three. Pins up, so I'm at 135. Pretty much what you see is what you get. Short right would be in the bunkers. Left looks a little more forgiving. And Stan's going with a pitching wedge. I tugged it a little bit. Right club. Or he also hit pitching wedge. Good line. Not sure he got all of it. Yeah. Front edge. Nice shot. Okay, 15th hole is par 5, 495 yards. The, the fairway just kind of wanders between garbage. You really can't see a fairway to hit, so kind of a challenge. All right, Stan's got driver in his hand. Oh, looks good. A little butter cut. I think that's going to be okay. Corey also hit driver, but pulled it well left. That might be a problem. All right, Corey, you got to kick off the tree right on the edge of the crap. Hitting hybrid right up the fairway. Good shot. Just gonna trickle into the right rough, I think. All right, Stan's got 242 in, but he's he's opting to hit a nine iron. There's just too much going on. Should be okay. Nice shot. All right, so Corey trickled in the right rough. He's got 180. Got to clear all that scrub up there, and the pin's on the other side of it. Yeah, going with six. He's gonna hit a six iron. Came out a little soft, carried the junk. It's gonna be a little short of the green off to the left a bit. All right, Stan's got 102 uphill with wind in his face. He's going with a 54 degree. He's 
going a little left. Settle little a little bit over. I don't know. You wheeled that thing pretty well. So Corey got a much better bounce than we thought. Got his on the green. About 20 feet sliding down the hill. Good butt. Alright, we've got another par five. 506 from the T. Can't see a lot of the fairway other than that pot bunker. So I'm going to stay right at that, put it up there, and give yourself a shot down the fairway. All right, Stan's uh, playing it smart and going with the three wood. Well, let me rephrase that. <laughs> All right, Corey's going with 22 degree hybrid. He's trying to get something in the fairway here. Pulled it going at that bunker. Uh, don't know if he's in it or over it. All right, Corey did catch the bunker. Just gonna have to pop it out with a wedge. He's got that uh, lip right in front of him. Good shot, back out in the middle of the fairway. Oh, he just lashed his shot. 239 hole just short. just short nice shot all right Corey's got 206 left the pin is just over those trees to the right over your pitcher going with the 22 degree hybrid good ball just right at the pin not sure what's over there probably a little short of the green all right Stan's got about a 25 yard Pitch shot here. Oh, almost jars it. Four feet. It's taller over there. But... All right, Corey's only got about 30, 35 yards, but he is stymied here. You're gonna have to come out sideways and try to chip and putt. For the par or bogey or whatever that is. No, you're fine. You're fine. All right, Corey's got about 20 feet coming off the fringe here. And it just slid by. Not going to happen. Nice par. 17th hole, par three. It's playing 185 today. We're hitting from the 177 uh, monument. Uh, there's a bunch of junk between us and the green, so you just kind of hit it at the green and make your putt. All right, Stan's going with a seven iron. We got a little helping wind. Yeah, he pushed it out there a little bit. Should be fine. Back edge. Corey's also hitting seven. Let's see if he can hit a little straighter than mine. Just left of the pin. And oh, oh it bounced backwards into the bunker. Alright, Stan's just got a little chip shot to get it out of the green. It should roll down to the hole. Not too bad. Pin high. Alright, Corey's just in the front of the bunker. Gotta get about four feet up to the surface of the green. Got some green to work with. Shouldn't be too bad. Ah, oh, came out soft. Just stuck in the collar. Alright, Corey's going with putter from just off the green. Just slid by. Good putt. All right, Corey's got about five feet here. So salvage a four. Good putt. Stan's got a long three feet. Nice par. All right, final hole, 418 yards. 
All you can really see from the tee box is maybe the landing area. It's a dead tree out in the middle. Uh, if I remember right, having played this course one other time, you want to be left of that dead tree. All right, Stan's going with driver. Well struck ball, heading right for that snaggy tree. Just missed it. All right, Corey tells me the one and only time he's played this hole, he smacked that dead tree in the middle of the fairway. So let's see if he can be two for two on this. Starting just right of the tree. Looks good. All right, Corey and I both went just to the right side of that dead tree. You can see trying to go to the left side of it, and here's why. There's this giant slope in the right half of the fairway that funnels everything down into the rough. And now we've got a bad angle into the green. So we're going to have to kind of bend it around to go over the corner of these trees in order to get at the green. So you definitely want to stay left of that dead tree. All right, Stan's got 173 coming in, a clear line to the hole. He's hitting 7 iron. Oh, it looks good, too. Corey's hitting seven iron, trying to cut it back in. Went straight, so he'll be up uh, left of the green, about 10 or 20 yards. Corey got a little closer than we thought. He's just uh, about six feet off in the fringe. He's gonna go with putter, probably oh, 60, 70 feet total. Looks like pretty good speed. Sit down. Just ran about six feet by. All right, stands about three feet off the green and just little, just bump it. Almost. Nice shot. All right, Corey's got about six feet. Try and clean this up. No, pulled it. Okay, well that's done. It was it was really kind of a, a tough 18 holes. Uh, Stan shot 83, I shot 84. He's not going to let me live it down. That's okay. He finished strong, shot 40 on the back nine. Beautiful course, very challenging. Uh, especially not knowing where you're going on the thing. And we, we made some bad decisions along the way. and. Frankly, a little bit of wind. It was just a, it was just a tough day, but we thoroughly enjoyed the place. I'd come back and play it anytime. Thoroughly enjoyed it. All right, thanks for watching. Like it if you want. Thumbs down if you didn't, and we'll see you soon.